How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as the owner of a seven star uh, Iron Man, um, I thought it would be fun to see what this guy can do. We've obviously already done a gameplay video of Iron Man as a six star at rank three. There's probably plenty of Iron Man uh, videos uh, at rank five as a six star, which would technically be more powerful than this. But I thought it would be cool to see uh, with the stat focus what Iron Man can do unawakened as a seven star. So let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay and uh, try them out. All right, so first fight we got is Winter Soldier versus Iron Man. Uh, no synergies, no synergies on this guy. We're just gonna go ahead and see what we can do. Um, and I really like the OG Iron Man uh, buff. Oh, I don't know how he clipped me. Uh, buff because it's just simple and uh, super easy to maintain and just the rotation is super nice. Um, I do hope I can awaken this guy someday soon because uh, his awaken ability is no joke. No joke. So there we go. Remember, we have the stat focus for uh, special attack damage right now. And he doesn't really have any of... Uh, he's not facing a mutant uh, with prowess, which is kind of like his um, big thing, is like removing their prowesses. But look at how much, this, how much damage this guy is doing. 18k, 11k, 11k. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, this buff was so good. And I'm like, it's kind of crazy that I got him right out the box. Um, and yeah, to be honest, man, I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I'm going to try to throw a special two here, actually. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, that was not bad. <laughs> So rank two seven star is actually uh, doing better than I I really thought he would be performing. I thought maybe the awakened ability would kind of show up more, but that might show up for well, look at that block uh, proficiency. That was pretty good too. So we're gonna have to take him into some uh, act eight and see for sure. But that was uh, that felt pretty good. All right, we're gonna take him down this path in act eight point two point six. It's a really fun path. Or tech champions um and i'm actually going to activate this uh pre-fight from winter uh, not winter soldier uh war machine um that increases uh that will increase our uh attack rating based on our armor rating um and debuffs will uh extend by 20 percent. so it's a pretty good one uh to have and yeah we're just going to activate that one and i haven't fully synergized out here so I think he's gonna be uh, uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So basically, if you don't remember, we did this in the the uh, six star gameplay. But basically, you just need to dodge a special attack here, and then you're gonna gain um, cruelties by knocking down the opponent with a special one. Let's see here. Pop this off. There we go. So we also get. Uh, Incinerate and Plasma from our synergies. And just look at that damage, man. From this node combination, it's crazy. There we go. Ooh, I did not pay attention. There we go. Still got the weapon node activated. Ew, I wanted a special too, but that'll work. And... No, the falter is so annoying. There we go. I mean, his damage is pretty consistent, man. It's pretty consistent. I mean, I know he's, like, synergized out and stuff, but, like, it's pretty decent. I didn't even get a special two off, so I didn't even get him... I don't think I even activated his arc reactor or whatever it's called, so... Let's do that in the next fight here against Red Guardian. A little little harder to dodge uh, to evade this uh, special one in my opinion uh, so I'm gonna see his attacks are kind of annoying but we'll see maybe I'll eat those words here in a second and let's see can I get him to throw it oh did I dodge oh I didn't dodge it that's okay we got time let's try again no every time I every time I've tried to dodge that attack it clips me every single time. Let me try this one. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll just fight normal. 
We'll just fight normal. There we go. Oh, I did it. There we go. Now we can start doing some damage. Those are the hits we're looking for. That's, that's, that's nasty. That is nasty. Go. Special one. I mean, man. That node combination with Iron Man is insane. It's actually insane. All right, we got a Mega Red here. Try to dodge one of these. There we go. That was a very risky uh, <laughs> evade attempt there by dodging into the attack. Showing off my gladiator skills there. Unfortunately for this guy, uh, he probably won't be around for too much longer because, oh my gosh, he clipped me. He heard me talking trash. But we got our uh, weapon node activated. So unfortunately for him, I think it'll be over pretty soon. Now, Again, Iron Man's not awakened, so I can't access that heal, which is such a good, uh, such a good piece of utility. So, like here during the fight, I'm halfway through the quest. If he was awakened, I could pop that and heal about, I think it's a uh, 35 percent of my health um, on offense, or uh, by activating it myself, or a full 50 percent if uh, it activates via ability, under 15 percent health. So. That's a huge piece of utility that we don't get because he's not awakened. We also don't get the extra block proficiency as well. So, all right, it's time for some real gameplay here. We're gonna be taking him into the event quest and putting our uh, entry tokens where our mouth is. I don't know. This guy, this, I hate, I hate this quest. I, <laughs> it's really not these champions the, the on the path. It's, it's the boss, the boss. I hate the boss. He's cost a lot of revives for me. Um, but I just I feel bad if I can't uh, I can't get the reward so I gotta keep doing it so we're gonna see how Iron Man handles in this kind of event uh, uh, content and see how I can handle these fights so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, rush to a special two and get that activated oh I got I, I got hit by that oh I didn't know that nice I, I don't know there we go special two Alrighty. We'll test the block proficiency here. The block proficiency is still crazy high. So it's that's good to know because I was worried when I uh, pulled them that not being awakened might affect that. Like might be like uh what do you what do you call it? A, a deal breaker. But um it's honestly really good. Uh I'm quite happy with it. There we go. Still at full health here, thanks to willpower. Another special one. And yeah, he handled that really well. Still 100% health. Block proficiency was really good. So yeah, now this is the fight he's supposed to excel in. Um, against Storm Pyramid X here, it's one of the fights. Um, so let's go in here and see what's up. So she gains prowesses, so she should he should be able to um, invalidate those. Do some burst damage. We're just gonna go ahead and invalidate them right away. Just to kind of show you. Unfortunately, she does from the node heal off energy attacks, so it's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be something. Alright. Now, this would be a real test of block proficiency. Uh, is seeing that uh, special two come in with a bunch of prowesses. But we're gonna try to get to the uh, special two again and start that again. There we go. There it is. That is so good. Now she didn't have any prowesses, but that's still like one of those attacks that like will just chip you down through block. And I am very satisfied with that. Um, he cannot take the Terrak, so we're gonna skip. Well, maybe he can. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just see. Let's just see exactly what Iron Man can do here. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we'll see. It's a fight we don't really want. 
to be in. Well, I didn't see an armor break up here. I know that his armor uh, up ability accuracy can't be reduced, but I don't think an armor break is a... Uh, like, I don't think Terrax's uh, armor breaks are ability accuracy, but I guess we'll really test it out here in a second. There it is. There is no, no. So it doesn't get rid of his, or does? Oh, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was confused. It's still going. Jeez. There we go. Do a special two here. I think because we had armor breaks that the uh, arc reactor thing didn't activate, which is fine. That's how you know it's a cosmic champion. That's probably how it's supposed to be. Okay, I do need him to throw the special too soon. Maybe. There we go. Now we just kind of let him burn that power. I don't know how he's armor breaking me so far away, but that's okay. I'm going to special two just to back him up. Up. Let's try a special one and see if we can start getting some damage ramped up here. Okay, I think we might be able to launch this F2 finally. That time is right. Oh no, that's one of them. Might still be okay. There might still be time. Oh no. Okay. Go in there. Oh, I guess we're launching special three. I guess we're launching special three. I mean, he's handling the fight well. He's just taking a while. He's just taking a while. Not a bad special three. He's already on. Well, I don't know how with that. There we go. go not bad i mean again we finished with 97 percent health that's thanks to willpower we got hit a couple times but overall he did really really well against that um i'm going to use spot to take out this mojo so we'll see you at the final boss all right so this is going to be interesting i'm not really sure i have no idea how <laughs> how well he's going to handle this fight but we're going to see we're going to see so tricky part of this fight for me is kind of um, <sighs> bro all right so that's it for this video i i don't want to talk about the last boss and what you didn't see <clears throat> on camera is without thinking i just left the quest so i lost my entry i lost the fight and i didn't even get the rule <laughs> anyways i hope you did enjoy though uh i i'm i am honestly surprised at how well his block proficiency was without the awaken ability because remember the awaken ability increases the potency of his armor ups and and doubles the amount of block proficiency, proficiency gained during a potion uh, opponent's special attacks so i was really surprised to see it do so well again um that regen uh, is missing, um, so that, that, that'd that be nice to have on the Awakened ability, but besides that, you know, as an attacker, he's still there, man. He's still there, and he's definitely going into my Battlegrounds deck for this meta, uh, for the Victory Track meta. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, that's it for this one, I guess. Um, subscribe if you want some more content. We got another video coming up pretty soon, uh, tomorrow morning. And, um, yeah, we're so close to 1,500 subscribers. So that'd be cool. Anyways, that's it. Y'all take care.